can't believe you two took that raving lunatic seriously. What do you think this is? <laughs> art celebrating death, war memorabilia, and several allegedly stolen items that Bonesmen uh, supposedly were supposed to take um, as gifts to the society's goddess. I am not making this up. <laughs> and uh, what happened to her? Well, according to Skull and Bones legend, in 322 BC, which is why you see the number 322 associated with Bones, the Greek orator, orator Demosthenes died. When he died, the goddess Eulogia, whom Skull and Bones calls the goddess of eloquence, arose to the heavens, and she didn't happen to come back down again until 1832, when Russell formed Skull and Bones. So now everything in the society is done in deference to this goddess. They have sacred anthems to her, they have a shrine to her, and they're supposedly um, encouraged to go steal things and bring them back to her in the tomb.
have a problem, go to Mary. She'll take you to Jesus. Your water will be turned into wine. You'll be given the gift of the Holy Spirit, that gift who contains all gifts, and you can handle anything that comes along. The Holy Father made a pilgrimage to Fatima to thank Our Lady for her divine protection and to consecrate once more the peoples and nations of the world to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. We do not. That would be heretical and improper.